Hi everyone, Diana Rankin here coming to you from my front porch on this beautiful beginning of June. Uh, it's actually Saturday the day before uh, the beginning of the week which will be June 2nd to the 8th. June 2nd to the 8th. I have to always stop and think about that. Um, you know, I I feel so blessed going through Ohio on Memorial Day just a few days ago. I'm sorry, I have to apologize. I'm sitting on my front porch swing and I'm going to try my best not to keep swinging. So I apologize if, if you're getting dizzy from my swinging. Um, you might see Daisy out here, by the way, and you might get a glimpse of one of the front porch uh, kitties who adopted me a while back. So we built them a front porch house, which means we can't put plants out in the front this year because last year they did a number on them. Anyway, I divert. Uh, this is Diana Reichen coming to you with your weekly psychi psychic predictions and uh, message, soul message. And I want to tell you why I feel so blessed this week. 15 tornadoes went through my hometown, went through Dayton. Now I'm in the middle between this set of tornadoes and this set, and they went right between, we're right between them. So they went above us and they went below us, including one that was an F4, and I think I've heard it's lasted like 20 miles. The destruction is horrendous. It, it's unbelievable. I have a friend who lost their house and others who, whose businesses were damaged and homes were literally destroyed. They were just flattened. One man lost his life. And Ohio is not unique. This is happening through the whole Midwest along with flooding. Where I live, here in the woods, you might hear the birds singing and hear the breeze going through and the sun is out today. Um, more storms are coming in this afternoon and I have to tell you the yard is a mess because we can't mow it's too wet but we're not flooded and for that I'm grateful we did not we got strong winds but we did the tornadoes dissipated uh, before they got to us and we're grateful and our hearts go out and our prayers go out to those who were affected all across the US and I want to talk a little bit about what's happening um, I mentioned climate change um, as an issue for what we're experiencing, uh, for as an issue for these horrendous storms that are going through last week. And when I said that, one of you wrote, and I'm glad you did, and you said it's not climate change. What about changing that word to climate, um, I want to say crisis, but you said um, emergency, climate emergency. And you're right. It's, it's, we're in a climate emergency. And so we need to speak out. We need to, to do those things that stop this from happening. It's only going to get worse. You've heard me say the pendulum has to swing one, it, it'll swing really strong one way and then the other before it finally settles down. Well, the pendulum hasn't swung quite far enough for everybody to really pay attention and get involved. It's happening though. And the same is true of those of you who are asking about impeachment. I think we'll see impeachment before the summer's over, but not this week. It's still growing. <laughs> you might have heard Daisy. She just came running across the yard and up to the front porch and, and she's right here now. So she came by to say hello. Um, and she's probably going to go back and play out in the yard, but Daisy's here with you. And please take a look at some of her videos. They'll make you laugh, and laughter is important. We are going to get from one of my books, Joy, which is 52 ways of finding happiness, ways to be happy. Um, and the front porch kitties are coming up also to see what's going on up here. So I don't know that you'll see them because they're, unless they jump up here. But we will get a message from that. Uh, and we will also get a message from Philip. But I want to first talk to you about what's going on and, and our part in it. 
you know, I have two hands here and this one can do this while this one does this. They can do different things. You know, this one can do this and this one can do this. We can, we can have them doing different things and eventually they want to do the same thing. But what I want you to really get is both of my hands are connected to the same body and get the same brain impulses to work. If we think of ourselves as being a different hand but connected to that same brain impulse, connected to that same body, whether we call it energy, we call it God, call it universe, call it whatever you want, as long as you think of it as loving. We work independently of each other See, I'm having, I have to really kind of get that going before I can think about it. We work independently of each other, but while we're working independently of each other, we are connected to the whole. So eventually, eventually, you know what we're going to do? Eventually we're going to both do the same thing. We're going to all be connected and recognize our connection. I tell you this because I want you to really stop and think about why am I arguing with this person? We're, this, we're, we're connected. We're just expressing differently right now. You've heard me say our beliefs are set by the time we're about five years old. And we spend the rest of our lives either getting rid of those beliefs, trying to rewrite those beliefs, or reinforcing those beliefs. So I'm not trying to make you believe anything. I'm just giving you tools that'll help you make your life better. And as you make your life better, it'll make all life better. I don't understand why people argue with me. Because I'm not gonna change your mind. That's your belief system. But if I say something that's going to help you I'm grateful to help you live a happier, better life. I always wonder though, why do we argue with each other? And the truth is, the reason we argue with each other is because if I can convince this hand that this is the only way to go instead of doing this, no, no hand, you must do what I'm doing because if you do what I do, if you believe what I believe, then I'm okay. Both hands are okay. They have a different belief system. And one belief system may be destructive, and one may not. So if this hand is doing something that is destructive, then let's hold that hand in love rather than beating up on it. Let's hold it in love and say, stop, there's a better way. Let's hold it in love until it does hear us because shouting at that other hand is only gonna make it shout back. But if we hold it in love, that doesn't mean we approve. Absolutely not, we do not necessarily have to approve, but we can hold it in love and hopefully eventually we'll be working in synchronicity and coming together. It's the only way it's gonna work. You won't convince me of your conspiracy theories. You won't convince me of hate is the way. You won't convince me that a so-called good guy with a gun is gonna stop the bad guy with a gun. Guns have one energy, and that's to harm. You won't convince me that this particular movement is going to help humanity unless it really is going to help humanity. Do we want to keep our eyes open? Yes, we want to keep our eyes open. Do we want to speak out? Yes, we want to speak out. But my friends, arguing about it isn't going to help. Embracing. Your truth is your truth. Nobody has to believe 
what you believe. Nobody has to believe a word I say. But if what I say helps you understand, then good, I'm glad. If what I say helps you have a better life, then good, I'm glad, and I'll continue to speak out. But if what I say causes you harm, or causes you hurt, or causes your life, then I better look at what I'm saying and why I'm saying it. Why am I trying to convince you I'm right? I find if I'm trying really hard, <laughs> one of the kitties just went chasing a leaf. <laughs> if what I'm trying to convince you is coming from a place of anger or coming from a place of fear or coming from a place of needing to control the other or coming from the place of needing to convince you I'm right I'm not I'm only trying to control let's stop it let's stop it the joy I picked today is week 19. There are 52 weeks in, the, in this book and it's nature and tree and I picked it obviously because I'm sitting out in nature, I'm sitting among trees and it's a very simple way to find joy in your life. You know if, if we spend too much time in the city among concrete, if we spend too much time, excuse me, too much time indoors what happens is we start to lose that connection with nature. And nature is so important to our well-being. So whether it's a park, a woods, a tree in your backyard, step outside and just be with that tree. And when I say be with that tree, I mean be with that tree. It's very, very healing to be with trees in nature. It's healing to our spirit. It's also healing to our physical bodies. So ask a tree, may I share your energy? Because remember everything, everything is energy. So you might ask that tree and, and pick a sturdy oak, uh, pick a, a tree with deep roots, a, a nice walnut or, or even a beech tree. Um, maples, the, the roots aren't quite as beautiful as they are, and I love maple trees, but the roots aren't quite deep enough. So pick something that's strong. Ask, may I share your energy? And unless the tree is ill, um, the tree will, will say yes. You'll just get a feeling it's okay. So just snuggle up to that tree. You might hug it, put your, your back to that tree, put the spine up right next. You're going to notice that, you might notice that part of your body, one half of your body, the energy is darker than the other. And so you might have to, to ask that tree to help you balance. And as you balance, recognize the depth of the, the roots in that tree, how grounded it is, and at the same time look up and see how that tree is soaring. So we can be deeply grounded in reality. We can be deeply grounded in what's going on in the world today and at the same time soar. Let tree teach you about being happy because trees are happy. They just are. Standing there, listening to the wind, letting the breeze blow their leaves. Become a tree for a while. Share the tree's energy. Thank you all for your comments. Eventually I do get around to answering them. I can read them immediately, but I don't always have the time to take to answer. So thank you. I caught up mostly yesterday and I'm gonna to try to keep caught up. <laughs> I say that, don't I? And it doesn't always happen. But thank you. I've been doing a lot of traveling with, with speaking engagements and workshops and then with the tornadoes that have gone through. It, it's been a very busy time. So thank you. And for those of you who have not uh, been with us before, we welcome you and we thank you for coming. And what we're going to do now is get a message from Philip, who is my spirit guide. And it's an oracle book, so we just, uh, each page has a different wisdom, so we just open to any page. So think left page or right page, and we'll go forward, and there we go. 
I'm thinking, I'm, I'm getting right page, but I always read both. Um, I, I like to give you as many messages as I can. You know, years ago, I taught a smoking sensation course for help people to quit smoking. And in teaching that course, we had like 100 tools uh, to put in our tool bag, so to speak, because if one tool doesn't work, pull out the next one until you finally find one that works. So I'd like to give you as much information as I can. So here's our message. Darkly, darkness is merely a lack of light. Thank you, Philip. Darkness is merely a lack of light. Oh, my friends, let's bring light to what's happening now. When the impeachment process starts, it, this isn't going to be easy. This is going to create a lot of division in the country. It's going to, um, it's not going to be easy, which is why I think the uh, Speaker Pelosi is holding off on it a little bit. Um, but it is coming, um, just not this week. But remember, darkness is merely a lack of light. What is light? Light is knowledge. Light is love. Let's add both to our lives and the world. On the left side it says, is it that you are so busy becoming that you forget you already are? Is it that you are so busy becoming that you forget you already are? <laughs> I love that because we get so, when we start our spiritual journey and, and proceed along it, we kind of expect it to be easier than it is. We expect monumental revelations and usually it's just finding the joy in the sunset. So remember, is it that you are so busy becoming that you forget you already are? And then our message for the week, darkness is merely a lack of light. Well, my friends, I thank you for being with me again. Daisy and I send our love to you. We thank you for the love that, that you send to us. We are so grateful for your love, for your comments, for your coming back every week for your telling your friends and most of all for making your lives as joyful and as happy and loving as possible and thank you for loving us and adding love to our world until next week love to you <laughs>